Hello everybody on um, Trinity London. Today is a swatching Monday, but also I'm going to talk about how to wake up a tired face because I have a day to day where I woke up feeling a bit flat and then I did some exercise and then I really feel that my back has kind of seized up a bit in the exercise and it's got worse. So I've got magnesium flakes. So after this live, I'm going to go off and have a magnesium flake bath and ease it and hope that it doesn't get worse because back pain also, and any of you who suffer from chronic pain in any form, I feel can reflect so easily on the face. So my lovely Charles said to me at lunch, you look like you're in pain because it's sort of in your eyes and it's um, on your face and my circles look darker. So I want to just talk about any of you who might feel that feeling of um, how your feeling is showing in your face and what we can do, what my quick solutions are that I do to um, help that. So there we go. I'm not seeing any comments, darling. So let's, um, you tell me everything as me. Will do. All right, great. Um, so I'm going to start off with the first thing I always do before I do any makeup is I do a massage. And today I received my favorite, my favorite moisturizer in the entire world. There are many times when I tell you about lots of really inexpensive moisturizers, and this is the most expensive one I use. So um, inexpensive ones, go to by Zoe, go to skin, great moisturizer. Um, Dr. Hauschka, under 25 pounds, I think, moisturizer. This is Nanette de Gas, over 100, unbelievable moisturizer. And she, I asked her to send it to me because I'm doing my top four active moisturizers. And this is my, I have kind of economy, mid, high, and then highest. And this actually comes in highest. But you get any moisturizer. And the first thing you want to do is just get the blood flow back into your face. Because I think when you're feeling a bit flat or down or in pain or in emotional pain, you you need the stimulation of your skin and you need to touch your skin. You need to get in contact with your epidermis. So I do little scissors and then I might do, you know, days you're feeling any of the things I've mentioned. Maybe we don't smile so much. I do believe smile therapy is fantastic for getting high cheekbones. And any woman I see who has very high cheekbones, she might naturally have them. But there are other women, I think it's your bone structure and the fact that you smile a lot that gives you those wonderful cheekbones. So practice smiling in the mirror now, you know, feeling you're, you're looking for smile. Might feel, seem fake, but just smile, smile, smile. It's good to do. And then to help that smile, just push your cheekbones up like this. Get underneath your cheekbones, get in with your palms of your hands and then go round and up and you'll get the blood flow going, which is so healthy for skin. And you'll get some life back in. So already I feel there's a bit of life. So I'm ready now to do what I do as my basic when I'm feeling that my face is tired. And then I will swatch anything you like and Esme will tell me what you would like to swatch. Um, I'm just gonna see if there's any way I'm gonna get any comment. I'm not gonna get any comment, no, I'm not. Okay, there, so let me just see if I touch on any of these things. Viewers, no, nothing, absolutely nothing. Is there. Um, da, do that again. No, okay. All right, Esme, is everyone with me? Everyone is with you. A lot of people are saying they woke up in the same mood as you have today, but you're making them smile. Um, we've got people saying hello from all over. Fantastic. I just want to say hello to everybody. And you know what? This morning I, I was saying on my own Instagram, that I was feeling a bit flat and so many people left really lovely messages. So if you're one of those people, thank you very much. And it's not that it's a high class problem or not. It's not that I live in a terrible situation or a very privileged situation. It's about what goes on inside our head. And my head this morning wasn't in the best place. Um, and superficial outside things can affect that, but getting that shift. So part of how I get that shift is I do make sure that I get ready properly and not just think I'll stay in sweatpants and put my hair in a bun and say I don't give a fuck because there's habits for me that if I do them I feel I'm doing something right in the day and if everything else seems insurmountable there's some things that are mechanical that I can just do so I a mechanical thing for me is to put my BFF on every day so I'll just do it and it will improve it and the first thing I'm going to go to today 
talk about how we cover our under eye. And let's just talk about different kinds of dark circles. So who, are, who, who of you who are watching has dark circles versus puffy, braggy under eye? Because the two are very different. Some people do have both. But I think there are a few people who don't appreciate theirs is a dark circle and not an under eye bag or vice versa, because there's many women I've made over and they say, I've got dark circles. And I think, mm, you don't, but you've got a bag and the bag is creating a little tiny bit of, um, you know, skin going in and skin going out again. So for me, I don't have bags. I have dark circles. And that means that here there's an indent and that can, the skin underneath your eyes a bit thinner. So it over enhances any tiredness you've got, which is basically the blueness of your veins showing through. Um, so I always look and think, how do I get rid of that? Okay, that's the first thing I do when I'm tired. This is how I'll do my makeup. And I'm gonna take today a mixture of things because those of you who might have a really bad under eye will do a different routine from those of you where it's a little one. The first thing is, when you have a dark circle, you want to put the product on the dark circle and below the dark circle. And when you have a bag, you put it under the bag, not on top of the bag. Little simple rule. And the reason is, if you put it on top of the bag, you give the bag heaviness and it will be more prominent. So you want to reflect back into the bag so it disappears a bit. So if um, I start off, I'm going to take... Um, Mary, which is the shade I'm using at the moment. I was using redder in the summer, but I've got a lot paler. I'm even using BFF light, not light medium. So Mary is my shade. So for this, I take about that much and I'm going to go underneath. I've got a bit of puffiness too, actually, I've just noticed. And I'm going to put quite a lot on, but I'm not going to go right under the eye here. And I'm not going to, I'm going to go sort of between where my dark circle is and where my cheekbone starts to come out, because that to me is the perfect location to put it. So this will reduce most of it, like that. Are people identifying with dark circles? They are. We've got um, Andrea, Chiara saying that they have dark circles, Sarah and Mary are saying that they have both. Um, yeah. Alison says she gets purple circles as she's quite pale. Well, that's also because the blue of your vein, Alison, is showing up more. I think, though, that um, the colour you put on is really important because a lot of us might have grown up with Touche Clat, which was one shade, and whatever our skin tone was, we put it on. So we developed the principle that under eye concealer always should be paler than your skin. Now, the reason I don't find that to be correct is it won't then cover the blueness or the, the kind of darkness created by the veins showing through a bit. So I've gone for what is my skin tone in Mary. Um, and I think that's a very important thing because it will cover it better. If your under eye circles are really bad and that could be more going towards a sort of mid character tone because that under eye or dark caramel skin tone that under eye can appear darker and browner than the rest of your skin so you might want to add on just a touch to give more coverage most people will have enough with bff under eye but just a touch will really take everything else away and the order in which i do it usually is i do bff the bff eye and then i'll do just a touch so that might then be put on the same way that one's going over and under the point in which you want covered so you don't have this sort of panda eye and then you just keep blending it in and out like that in a circle the other place people get a dark circle where they don't realize that's what's making them feel tired is this inner bit of your eye here and here because it's like light never gets in. And the more recessed your eyes are, or the bigger your nose is here, the deeper that will be. And that will have a feeling of making you think you look tired. So I like to get a little end brush like the tea kit one. I'd get this. And I take a little bit of Mary. 
like that. And I'm going to mix it with Starlight, which is our highlighter. This is my little trick for getting in that bit because I want some light reflection, a little bit extra. So I'm going to take Starlight and I'm going to mix that on my brush. And I usually, when I'm doing mixing, I sort of put it on my hand together and I mix till I get this sort of equal parts probably. And then I might go in there with the brush and just in a way press it in first because there's that tiny little bit there, which do you see I've made it lighter, which gets very dark. And then I'll do the other side. So you can see that actually I'll do one bit and not the other, and then you can see the difference. So when I go below and above, I don't want to take that highlighter too much under this bit. I just want to keep it there. So I'll do that. I've got it in there now because it's difficult to get in there. And then I might just soften it with my finger like that. So there's a lightness to the inner part of my eye compared to the darkness there. Do you see the difference? And then I'm gonna go in there too and just lighten that little bit there. This really helps people if you feel you always are looking tired. It's a very untended area, our inner eye, like that. There, so it's looking better. Now, another thing to remember Sorry, I'm going to equal up with the trinch on that side. Just tap it where you feel you might need more and blend it through. Is everyone on board, Esme? Everyone is, and um, Lydia commented that she has genetically more puffy eyes and said that using some of the skincare that you've recommended, it's improved and helped her a lot. Yeah, if you do also have a really puffy eye, very good to do the lymphatic and I've done lots of videos on doing lymphatic which starts here goes down to your clavicle and then you release because if you have a puffy under eye and you just start trying to get the lymphatic moving here if this lymphatic is blocked here where the your kind of nodules are of your lymphatic system then it won't go anywhere so you need to unblock here first then do the middle then do a little round circular motions here to keep that lymphatic nodules all happy and then go under your eye and you will then see a release. So another thing that I do pay attention to when I've got a duck, when I feel I've got dark circles and I want to look awake is to get my brows sorted because I want to put some focus away from, oh my God, I just did mascara. Great, huh? How often have you done mascara on your brow when the product looks the same? Oh, Lordy be it's that kind of day, isn't it? Okay, let me get rid of that. <laughs> I probably did it the other way around this morning. I was thinking why my mascara wasn't strong. I haven't got here. Bobby Brown. I want a bit of Bobby Brown on the Trini London channel. One second. Just, it's very, the light is going. Can you see this? So I do a little bit of a stronger brow. And then I can do mascara, but before then... I don't want to do a dark color today on my eyes. I want to do something light. And when I want to do something light, I generally go for weird little things which really help me. So I will take, for example, um, a little bit of VB. Come on, VB. I know I had it earlier and then I put it somewhere. Here's VB. It's a lip and cheek. I'm gonna swatch all the lip and cheeks for you because I hear you when you say that. So, put skin back, bring out lip to cheek. Swatching about to begin. I'm gonna show you what I do with BB, is I'll get it, I'll put a little bit on my lip, a little bit on my cheek. Blusher is so important when you've got a dark circle because you just want to get some color to take away from the dark circle. So, a warm blusher is the best thing. And then I'm going to go with my eye and I'm going to do a little bit of VB on my eye. Just stepping away from the brownie shades and going to something lighter. It's incredible how VB is so good on so many eyes. It's lovely on hazel, it's lovely on brown, works on blue, green. I don't know if I would do it. And VB is also an amazing lip when I think, oh, I don't know what I should wear with this. And then I always go to VB and it works. So I'm going to do VB and over it I'm going to do, I did it this morning and what did I like? Oh, I'm just going to do some 
Let me do some Emily actually today. Yeah. Okay. And mascara, and then we're going to get on swatching because then I'll be made up and I'll be feeling better. Do you see the face is looking brighter? I'm going to take now that mascara that I used earlier and just bung some on. I probably just do top lashes when I'm feeling tired like this. I might not do bottom lashes. Okay. See? Improved. New and improved version. Okay, let's get on to Lip to Cheek. Lip to Cheek is an amazing product from Trini Lund. It's one of our most successful products, probably in terms of sales. We sell a BFF, are really literally 30 seconds, Miracle Blur, it's kind of similar. Um, and then Eyes and Lip to Cheeks. They're very big sellers and they last forever. I mean, forever. I don't know there's many customers two and a bit years in who've ever more ordered more than two pots of one color unless they wanted multiple ones in different homes um, or different you know travel bag and at home bag that's what I kind of mean so our lighter shade which is like a sort of peachy pinky is Lady J Lady J is a little bit if I compare it to I'm going to show you also in comparison to our flush blushes in terms of those shade matches so if we look, I'm going to do, because all of these go on the cheek too. So lightest would be Electra, which is a flush blush. Then Lady J comes in and then VB comes after that. So VB has a slightly more terracotta tone to it. That's the one I've got all over my face now. Then we move on, and I'd say after that, I might head, if I'm going back to Flush Blush, to Wigs, which sits lighter than VB. So it probably sits pinkier and lighter than VB. There they are together. In fact, let's just make up one thing so I don't confuse you. Um, then after that, I might go to Pia, which is one of my favorite shades because it's just vibrant. It's amazing as a lip. You can do so much with it. It layers like it's one of my favorite layering products of all our products on the cheek on its own. It's got that incredible little pop of color. Don't be scared by how bright it looks in the pot. You can build it up, but it can be a wash or it can be strong. So there's strong and I'm going to show you a little wash. There's a wash and there's strong. It's, it's joyful, Phoebe. And, and recently I was wearing it last week and you were all saying, oh, what's that color? I'll just show you now actually, because it's, it's magical. It's magical. Here's Phoebe, here's um, Pia on. So by itself, it's that kind of bright pink. Really like livens up any outfit you're wearing and then when i'm doing it i either can go to i mean i go so many different routes but i if i want to do pop on pop on pop i mean like take it to its zenth i will put mia lip glow over the top like that and that takes it to the brightest pink for summer it makes you feel summer is here so if you're feeling wintry in your home this is pure with a little Maddie on top is, is divine. But I can also tone it down. So if I want to have here, but I want to make it a bit more nude and just have that hint, put it on again. And then I can take Thea, which is our lip glow, which is our sort of really neutral lip glow, put that on top. And it makes that slightly pinky, um, nudie shade, which is not too washing out. It's really great with Thea. Um, it's also, I could go on and on, can't I? I mean, I, I, cause I, you can tell how much I love it. Um, and I will, this is gonna be a lip to cheek and lip glow session, all right? Then I'll go again, put it on there. And then I love it with Talis. Hang on, where's Talis gone? 
Oh, this tan has gone. Ah, oh, lip glow. I love it with Talis. Talis is our red. No, that's not Talis. That's oh, with Indy. Have you seen it with Indy? Indy's our new um, lip glow. Let's do it with Indy. Kay says that she loves Indy. Oh, yeah. So look at that. I mean, Pia and Indy, divine. Okay, so there's many options. Pia goes with so many of our lip glows. It's a universally good shade. And even though it's quite cool, and it might not be in your match me because it's quite a cool shade, you can t bring Thea into the picture or you can bring Cordy into the picture and you can warm it up. Okay, so next up is Shasha. And Shasha is a more sort of orangey version of... It's kind of, hang on a second, there. So you really think it would be wonderful on caramels, but if I wear it, it has that oranginess to it. And I was always hesitant about a lipstick with a bit of oranging, orangey in it, but on my skin tone with my blue eyes, it really makes my blue eyes pop. It's that total, you know, we talk about the colour wheel. It's that opposite of the colour wheel. And if I want to make it truly vibrant, I put, um, I put Lila on the top, which I'm just trying to find now. Come on, Lila. Come on, Lila. Where's Lila gone? Where's Lila gone? Where's Lila gone? Where's Lila gone? I have Lila here. Um, second. Lila. Hold on, I've got to go back into that drawer show you Lila. Mary Price has commented that she got Indy and it goes with everything. She I mean, puts in, it, with. it is incredible. It's like if you haven't got Indy yet, get it because it's also going to sell out quite soon. So then I mix Shasha with Lila and it just brings it out to its zenith. It makes it a really strong version of that wonderful orangey glow. And those of you who, you know, have been hesitant about a slightly more orange lip, I just think it's so worth trying like that. But you can also, like Pia, you can take Shasha and you can tone it down. So you can have that first initial oranginess and then you can take Thea and just make it a little bit more nude but still with that warmth behind it like that so after there we go to Rossi and Rossi do we do Phoebe or Rossi first actually hold on a second no we go to Phoebe don't we let me go to Phoebe. So Phoebe is named after my lovely Charles' daughter. And she has dark hair, very porcelain skin. She wears Bambi. And she um, just looks mesmerizing in the shade. I have to say Phoebe is our probably our third most popular um, lips cheek. And I love this. And I always like the idea of a stain of this because there's times when I don't want to look like I'm wearing much makeup. So I'm just looking for the Miracle Blur. And I would want something that would give me a little stain on my lips when you want to be really natural. So just putting Miracle Blur over because I'm feeling a bit lined today. God knows why I am. And then I'm going to show you Phoebe, first of all, on the little um, swatching I've done here. There's Phoebe. And then I'm putting it on my lips. So when I do this kind of just being kissed by somebody and the sort of passion of that kiss has slightly bruised your lip, that's the look we're going for. So I just tuck that in the middle. Like that. And then I take Anna, which is our lovely lip treat. And any of you who have very dry lips right now, this is going to take that all away. And I put it over. There. 
One of my favorite looks. I've done it a little bit thicker than I normally do it, but it's such a pretty, slightly pinky red like that. And also many people, many people do this combination. How many of you do this combination? They do Phoebe and Cordy. And one of our lovely makeup artists, Alex, I remember he first did this and I saw a woman at Trini London and she had this combination on. I went, what's that? We don't make that. And he went, no, that is Phoebe with Cordy on top. Just a very, very happy nod to a red lip without being hit by a red lip, if you know what I mean. So that's a profoundly successful combination. Other people do Thea on Phoebe. They do um, Maddie on, on Phoebe to make it just a little bit softer. So many options, but my favorites are Anna Lip Treat or, um, or Cordy. Um, do you also have any favorites? I'm always very excited to hear new favorites that I don't know because for a little project I'm doing for Christmas, I'm very interested to know which combinations you love to do. So if you're seasoned Trini Londoners and you have a lot of our products, do let me know your lip to cheek and your lip glow combinations. It's a very important thing, which you'll be very excited by. So, um, if you could just tell me what your favorites are, I'd love that. If you write them down now and then Esme, you can read them out to me. Well, um, Judith has commented that she loves Pia with Dido for something kind of paler than with Mia on top. Oh, she likes, she likes Pia with Dido. That's lovely. I love that idea. Very nice. Should we show that? I'll just do a swatch of that so we can see that. But that sounds divine. So that was that Pia? Yeah, Pia with Pia Dido. With so Dido. I'm going to show that. I'll just do it on a swatching on my hand. So there's um, Pia putting it there and then she's taking Dido which is our sheer shimmer in our lovely kind of pinky pinky and I'm putting that on top oh that's so pretty really pretty just gives it a bit more amping up the pink amping up the pink um okay I'm now going on to Rossi and Rossi um, was a red that I launched a few months ago because I wanted to have a red that I felt was the most universally flattering red. And it's a very difficult thing to say that, especially when we do match to me, to find something that I feel is universally flattering. Because lots of people like to say universally flattering. And it's not, but it's, to me then, it's gotta be a red which doesn't have too much blue pigment in it and doesn't have too much orange in it. So it's not gonna be too much like a tomato and it's not gonna be too much like a pillar box. And that's what I think Rossi is. Um, it's like Swaney and Demon had a baby. So you can either do, again, the tiniest. I know I've got, I've got quite a lot of stain on my lips. I just want to get back to normal. One second. Okay, just trying to get off. They have dense pigment, which lasts very well. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm looking now. I've got a few blackheads I hadn't dealt with. Okay, so again... One way I do Rossi is I do lip treat first, like that. And then I take, I mean, this will take you three years to get through the way I can use Rossi. And then I just dab this. Like that. I remember when I was testing Rossi in the office on everyone and lots of people who had rosé issues said, I can never wear a red lip. And what I liked is I put this on and they didn't feel they were hit by a lip. But it gave them a nod to a lip. And a nod to this red makes everything about you pop. It makes your hair look rich. It makes your eyes blossom. And it's just one I think most people can do. So there's Rossi. And then if you want to go full on with Rossi, you can go full on. So we can build up the color. I'm gonna reel. Beautiful red. It's just a confidence giving red. Now, I don't know what combinations you've done with Rossi. I do it mainly with um, Lip Treat. So let me know the combinations. Let me also put Rossi now. Have I put Rossi on here? No, I haven't. So let me put, add Rossi to our long arm. Thank God I've got quite long arms. 
there's Rossi. Okay, so we've got Lady J, VB, Pia, Shasha, Phoebe, Rossi. All right. I'm just going to try now what I might do with Rossi if I was going to do something a little bit mad. So if I wanted to make it slightly more orange, I could try Myco on top, which I'm just going to do. And that... I'm oh, sorry. No, I'm just saying... I haven't tried this before and I love that. I might want to do that when I'm slightly more tanned, but I think Maiko and Rossi, it's a winner for me. A winner, winner, Michael Dinner. Michael Winner. Michael Winner. Dinner, dinner. There, yeah, that's, that's doing um, Maiko with Rossi. Yes, darling, you were saying. Um, just Anne Turner said that she loves Rossi with Lila. Oh, well, that's similar to what I did with Maiko. Very similar look, but so I agree with you. It's just taking it to that sort of orangier thing. Now, if we wanted to take it bluer, just in case you want to see, you might, it might be because it sits in the middle. A lot of people are recommending Rossi and therefore I'm going to show you with what you've already got. So let's say you were cooler toned. We put Rossi back on. Uh, I'm now going to do it with a bit of, I had an inspired idea, if I can find it, a bit of Mia. Why not? Interesting cool pink with this. Let's see what happens. Natalie said Rossi and Bunny as well oh rossi and bunny is divine rossi and bunny is so divine thank you for that so that's rossi with oh rossi with mia just giving me a full-on full-on lip hasn't it and with bunny it's just so pretty because it just adds that shimmer in the middle okay now we're moving on to let me just put everything back so i've got it in the place and i know where i'm going um, we are now going to go on to, this is one of my favorite least used um, lip cheek, but one of my favorite lip cheeks, which is Chloe. No, sorry, my God, I'm missing out Federica first. So Federica and Chloe um, were the two, you know, I had a very small team at the beginning and it basically, they were in it. Um, and it was just logical that the first people who worked in the business um, who would get products in Arsenal were Shasha, Federica and Chloe because they um, were there from the start. So, look, I mean, look at the pigmentation. Sorry, it's very densely pigmented. <laughs> I haven't got anything to take it off. Um, so, just so you know, because um, I put so many things on. Um, so, Feds, Federica, who is a bloody shining star in the business. It's kind of olive skinned um, and she's got a hazily eye and she's got um, a blonde hair. She's that sort of European olivey blonde. And this is such a beautiful shade. It's good neutral, but neutral slash warm. And it looks like it's um, darker than it is because when I put it on here, there's feds. Do you see? It's got a little brick to it. So I got to get you the right shade because I got a bit of the red underneath. For me, this is nearly the color of my lips. It's what I wish the color of my lips to be, the natural pigment of my lips. But as a, as a quick pick-me-up, I do use this. And then on the cheek, I mean, I didn't do any of the others on the cheek, but I love. Freddie is one of my favorite cheek shades. I think many people have Freddie. There's Freddie. So lovely. And my favorite combination with Freddie 
is to do it with Maddie. Um, and I think I've just done that as a habit for so long, but it's when I want to just make it a little bit more nude and softer. And when I'm doing a smoky eye where I need a bit more lip, I do that. There. Really, really easy, easy. So let me show you with the Maddie on what happens to it. It's my favorite combo with Maddie there. There's the Maddie and there is on its own. Okay, any other combos people do with Freddie that they love and they want to share? Um, a lot of people said Freddie with Emily. Freddie with Emily. That's like Freddie with Maddie until Emily came along. And I think you <laughs> fool went Maddie. You four went Maddie and you went straight into Emily. So let me just show that with Emily. Putting Freddie back on there and then going into Emily, named after one of the sweetest um, girls who used to work for us. And then she decided she wanted to pursue love and she went back to, um, she went back to Yorkshire, where she came from and, um, and fell in love. Well, she fell in love and then went back to Yorkshire. Um, but this is Emily. Oh, so nice. God, I know I've done that once when it first came out because I tested them all. But Freddie and Emily is divine. So divine. I love that. And then, you see, if you've done Freddie on the cheek, just putting that Emily over the top for the glow just amps up your cheek and makes people come up to you and say, my goodness, have you changed your skincare routine? Because everything is so glowy. So just to pop that cheek with a little bit of reflective shimmer. You know, days when you think my skin's looking good, that's usually what I've done. So pretty, so pretty. I wanna just do that as a little stack now so I don't forget to use it tomorrow. Thank you, okay. All right, where are we going to next? We are going to Chloe. Now, Chloe is something I used to use more in the winter, but there are times recently I was doing, um, well, I'm gonna do a closet confessions on yellow sometime soon. And when you wear yellow, certain types of yellow, you can't, you've got to be really careful what lip you wear because you don't want to be wearing pinky, pinky pinks. So sometimes you need a sort of stronger lip. You don't want it to be sort of, you just don't. Anyway, I'm gonna show you. The best thing is the explanation. So let's say I'm wearing full on yellow. All right, imagine I'm wearing full on. I've got it on my bottom half, but you can't see my bottom half. But I'm wearing full on yellow and I think to myself, hmm, I just need to define my lips. I'm going to actually, to help this work, I'm going to put back on some light medium to cover Freddie on the cheek. Because I do this thing with Chloe on the cheekbones, which you might have seen, but it does give an incredible cheekbone. So I want to just cover that up. There. Like that. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of Trintron on. In fact, I'll just do it with a little Secret Diva brush, because then I can just cover any other color I've got to show you this. You can also, by the way, use our foundations with a brush. We don't preclude it. Everyone has their personal choice. And if you want to put more coverage on, you can start with a brush and then blend with your fingers. There. But Secret Diva copied Artiste. So the original Artiste, I only have the Secret Diva actually with me, but the original Artiste are much better because this breaks, but these are much less expensive on Amazon because you do ask me about the brushes. Okay. Taken off the colour. I want to give Chloe, because it's Chloe, her full due. So, what I tend to do is I will start off with some um, Kate, because I want to kind of do my cheekbone. And I get a bit of Kate, and I'm going to mix it this time with a teensy bit. Kate is our cheekbone shade, with a teensy bit of... I've got it here, Swala. All right, so look at my cheekbones now. So I get that combination and I do my cheekbone here coming 
down there and then it's going to go up a little bit into there. I've done it a bit stronger than I want it to be, but that's because I'm going to come in now with Chloe here. And I'm going to do, this is the only time that I do my blusher lower because I want it to blend into my cheekbone. And this is a real face changing lip to cheek. So it sort of comes in a different location. It's coming slightly underneath, do you see? Blend it back in, bring it up to the plumpest part of your cheek. There. And then go quite high, like that. So then I have this real, like that, compared to the, that. You blend that in, there, and do the same. But do you see here, I've got this lovely shape from going a little bit with the Chloe. So I'm going to do the same, the Chloe this side, and then get it to meet my Kate cheekbones. And then bring it up to the top. There. Then I'll get Chloe and put it on my lip. I'm going to go right over my my Cupid's bow because I want that straight across lip. There. I'm going to take a tiny bit of Chloe and I'm just going to put it on my eye. Like that. It gives a very different makeup look to the softness and the brightness of the reds that we've been using. But it's a more sort of contoured look and yet it's just using one colour. And it's very, very good at really bringing out the colours in your face. So if it's in your match to me, do consider Chloe. You see, I, it's kind of that slightly, my face gone slightly that 1940s, you know, feeling because that cheekbone moment is there. I could even do more on here and really build it up. There. And then usually when I do this, look, my favourite combination because I couldn't not have it, and I've lost it now, haven't I? Is Lila with Chloe. So I take a little bit of Lila. There. And then I'll take the last bit of Lila and I'll put it higher up. There. And then even take that tiny bit of Lila and make that glaze on the eye. Don't be scared of a bit of orangey shades on the eye. It's very flattering. There. Can you see? Does that look good, Esme? It looks great. Everyone's loving it. Yeah, it's just, it's so beautiful, Chloe, and it, it's very difficult to see how well it works. But it's one of my favorite lip to cheeks because it gives that sort of structural definition to your face subtly as opposed to a bright blob of color so just matching it on there there's chloe like that see okay now our last little baby is munchkin and munchkin is a totally different color all over again so i'm going to take this all off and show you any other questions whilst we're doing this um, a few people asking to see a few more of the sheer shimmers swatched. Yep, we can do that on the other arm. Okay, I'm just going to get back to putting, trying to take the colour out of my face. A little bit more of Trintron. Um, a lot of people are asking where your top is from. My top is a really old Zara um, from, I think, last year or the year before. They did one two years ago and then one last year and I got both and I can't remember which is from which season. So, on the other arm now, before I do Munchkin, I'm going to show you Sheer Shimmers because I try and 
do what you ask. So this is Bunny, which was one of our latest. Hang on, I gotta just find room to put this on. So this is Bunny here, and Bunny is that goldeny thing that goes over everything. Everything goes over your eyes. It, it, I mean, you know, it just, it's delightful everywhere. Next up, we have Dido, which I just used, didn't I? Which was one of our original four sheer shimmers. And Dido is the prettiest, softest pink, which is coming up next. There, like that, Dido. Then next up, we have got what should I do first? I do usually Myco first. So Myco is the slightly orangier for warmer skin tones. It works beautifully. There's Myco. Then we go to Afric, which again is warmer skin tones and it's more of a sort of brownie shade. Sort of, yeah, like a, if you like Katinka, you'll like Afric. It's just got more depth to it than Myco, which is there. Then we have, what shall I do next? I'll do our newest one, which is Mama. And if any of you liked Mama in Fresh Flush, we actually took the color over and because Fresh Flush was a limited edition and we put it into a sheer shimmer and it behaves exactly the same way. It's that beautiful sort of pinky red. Um, no, not pinky red, actually. It's sort of tomato-y, but bright. Lovely and bright there. Actually. And then we have, um, if we have it here, Emily, which I just had, didn't I? I just had Emily. She'll come to me in a minute. She's just slightly disappeared somewhere. And I haven't got her for now. Uh, when Emily comes to the fore and makes an appearance, she's there. No, you cannot imagine how many pots I've got here. She's there. There's Emily. A lovely Yorkshire lass with the longest legs and the most beautiful blonde hair. And in love with her Yorkshireman. There we go. Get my bracelets out of the way. There's Emily. So, you've got Bunny. You've got Dido. You've got Maiko. You've got Afrit. You've got Mama. You've got Emily. There we go. Now, last up, I'm gonna show you Munchkin because Munchkin is this, again, like Chloe, it's a very underrated shade and it's one of my favorite shades. Now I'm gonna find that I had it and I can't find it. There's Emily, there's Emily. And I had it here to show you and it's gone. That's really just lovely, isn't it? It was here. Do I sound like a, do I sound as mad as I feel I sound? Or do I sound a little bit, a little less madder than I feel I sound? Come on, where are you? I had it, didn't I? Did I have it in my hand as I was talking to you? Somebody answer me. Esme, you can answer me. Pardon? Did I have it in my hand as I was talking to you? No, I don't think so. You don't think I had Munchkin? No. Seconds. Let me see if much can come to light. Oh my God! There's a new one here. Thank God, in the Trini shop. Quite nice. You might quite like to live in my room because there is a Trini shop, literally, with new products underneath. Okay, here's Munchkin. I'm going to swatch it first. So here's Munchkin. There. So imagine Freddy with a bit more burgundy. There. But what I kind of adore about Munchkin is it can be very sheer and it can be full on, but I like to use it like a little splattering on my lip. It's like, you know, when you find people who have that incredible pigmented lip, that's what. I feel Munchkin is. Cheeks, it's beautiful. It has more depth. It's like schmuggy, but stronger in the way of what schmuggy does to you. But just really beautiful shade. And I like to, as you know, pile it on. But where it's mesmerizing is if you like strength on your eyes. So I can use this as a full on eye shade 
and just plop that. And as it's matte, I plop it in the depth of my shadow of underneath my brow bone. Just go back and forth like that. The other side there. And then, this is my party trick, ladies. Are you ready? Then I take bunny. What do we do with that bunny? And I make a little glaze on my eye here over that munchkin like that and here. And then I take it and I put it just in the center of my lips here. And then blend it out. And then I put it over my cheeks. Like that. So then if I wanted to blend the whole thing, it will need a bit of blending. Sorry, Trini, just to remind you, you've got a meeting at four. Oh, I have, okay. So I can just blend that. Sorry, I've got some mascara caught up there. It's like a beautiful eye glaze. So different from all the other shades. Munchkin, who would have thought? So there you have it, ladies. Lady J, this is Lip to Cheeks, VB, Pia, Shasha. Phoebe, Rossi, I should have switched them actually, Freddie, Chloe, and Munchkin. And on this side, we had Sheer Shimmers in Bunny, in Dido, in Maiko, in Afric, in Mama, and in Emily. Happy swatching, happy Monday swatching. I so hope you enjoy that. I'm really sorry I didn't get to see your comments. I will read them all afterwards. And I hope Esme, I'm sure has read out the most important ones. But if you feel you're missed, we'll get back to you um, with any answers you might need. Have a lovely afternoon. I've got to say, even though I couldn't see your comments, I feel better just having a play with girlfriends. Makes all the difference to life. Bye. <laughs>